Hi, how are you? How is it going? So you can see by my caption up here, uh, I am talking about ways we can boost our energy. Uh, I came across this because, well, number one, it really resonated with me on a weekly mentoring call that I participate in. And number two, uh, I've been seeing all the posts and, you know, in my feed about school starting and remote and hybrid and homeschooling. And uh, it's, you know, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm homeschooling for the first time. And I know things can be overwhelming. So I thought we could all use some tips on boosting your energy. So for those of you who are just coming across this in your feed for the first time, my name is Liz Montigny. Um, I am a coach, a licensed uh, Ziegler Choose to Win coach. Uh, and I'm also a consultant for a non-toxic company, which I love. So it was really from that entrepreneurial journey that I've been on that I wanted to help other women do what I do, which is, you know, transform their vision board into reality one simple choice at a time. So, hey, Scott, how are you? I'm just getting used to StreamYard, so my eyes might be a little wonky. So, hey, Scott, by the way, that venison was fantastic. Thank you. We turned it into hamburgers. Anyway, <laughs> for those of you who don't know Scott and you're planning a vacation, you guys should connect. Very helpful, especially with us moms who have to do all the things. So yeah, so I thought, I'm not going to give you all 20 because we're going to be here all day and let's face it, we don't have time for that. I'll give you my top five and for the other 20 ideas on how to give yourself energy and stay motivated, uh, please uh, click that link to my blog and you'll get there and hopefully get some more ideas uh, that resonate with you, okay? So uh, first up, the very first one that I'm all about and that is number one on the list, and there's a good reason for that, is caring for yourself. And as you can see uh, or here, <laughs> the boys are all over the place today. Uh, but we did a good job uh, homeschooling this morning. So. Anyway, so caring for yourself, right? You can't, you can't have the energy to do what you need and want to do in life if you're not taking care of yourself first. And you've probably heard this from lots of other people and read this in lots of other books because it's true. It's true. How can we um, take care of business, family, and not necessarily in that order if we're completely drained? So you really, sometimes it feels counterintuitive, but you really got to take that time to do it. Um, this recently hit home for me because um, my mom hasn't been doing too well. She's okay now. But, uh, you know, there was a couple weeks there. It was like mental exhaustion, right? So in those moments, it seems like, you know, I should be doing something more. But really, maybe you just need to rest, you know? So consider that as well as you're navigating through all the things right now. So number two that I love, and it happens to be number two on the list, <laughs> is that what Ziegler calls that, quote unquote, habitude of gratitude. So think about that. If you have a habit of constantly being grateful, you know, that gratitude can't live in the same place as fear, right? You can't, can't be doing those things at the same time, right? So I really encourage you, if you are feeling drained, if you are feeling stuck, uh, to please pull out a piece of paper and write this down. Write three things that you're grateful for each day. I like to do it in the evening because I feel like it wraps up my day. Uh, a lot of people like to do it in the morning. Whenever it is for you, please, I encourage you to give it a try. It makes a huge difference. I mean, it could be super simple things like the sun is shining and it felt warm and I was sitting in the sun while drinking my coffee. I mean, I don't know, but it doesn't have to be earth shattering is my point. And you'll start to see and you'll start to develop you know, those good things in life, you know, from the little things to the big things. So I really encourage you to do that um, if you don't have that already. So give it a shot. Uh, the third one that I love, but is number eight on the list is the morning routine, you know, really owning the day before it owns you. So do many of you have a morning routine? Like, do you have something in place? Um, for me, I didn't for a while. 
in true confessions. I didn't nail it today. <laughs> and I can already see, you know, things in my day a little bit off because I didn't nail it. But anyway, always another day. But when you really nail that morning routine, um, it doesn't have to be long. Mine is about a half hour. Uh, I have three boys and I'm homeschooling for the first time this year, uh, plus running my businesses. So it's really important that I do get that me time. Um, and I do that before they get up. Now I have three boys under 10. I don't have babes in arms. So I know for those of you with babies and infants, you know, getting up is, is tricky. This is for everybody else. <laughs> this is, um, you know, you really want to get a hold on your day. And uh, basically for me, this means um, really just having some focused time. Uh, I mean, I stretch, I hydrate, uh, I pray, I journal just a smidge. And, um, and then by then, you know, one of my boys is roaming and ready for breakfast. So it doesn't take long, but it makes such a huge difference. Um, and I encourage you to find something that works for you. Um, the fourth uh, idea that I just love, it's number 11 on the list, maybe it should be number one, is sleep. Duh. <laughs> so I know it seems super simple, but it makes such a huge difference and most of us neglect it. Um, is anybody a mom's mombie out there? Mom zombie? I used to be big time. Uh, what I found was that I was staying up extra late because I felt like that was my alone time. And I was just sitting on the couch uh, maybe this was before I was in, even on Facebook. So I was watching TV and, you know, I realized that I'm not going to reach my vision in life if I'm a couch potato. And I realized also that it was really affecting my mood and my weight by staying up too late. Think about all the things that sleep does for you. It, um, you know, impacts your performance. It impacts, um, your mood. Okay. It even impacts your weight. So if you're trying to make some big changes, please get that seven to eight hours of sleep. It's so key. So if you have to be up at a certain time in the morning, guess what? You got to work backwards and start the night before. Um, my fifth one that really resonates with me. And again, if you want to get the full 20, uh, go to that blog link that I have in my description here, but um, is intentionally daydream. I love this one. Uh, again, so simple, but, uh, I had more than one coach told, tell me, please just go and think like purposely go and have think time. Look at your vision board and just stare at it. Right. It's fun. I'm a visual person anyway. I have a theater background. So, you know, this is no problem for me to have daydreams about what life's going to be like, right? And hitting my goals. So I really encourage you, if you don't take that little bit of time to do it, maybe you do it while you're drinking your coffee in the morning. I don't know. But there's going to be a good time for you to take just a few minutes and give that a shot. If you do have a vision board, you know, something physical that you can see on the wall, that's perfect. Um, I know people make them in Pinterest and Trello and all those places. Um, I like the physical ones that I can see, and, um, that are in my space. Uh, so give that a shot. And I think you'll find that, um, you're getting uplifted and it's just fun, but also it really starts to make those dreams and goals, uh, reality for you, the more that you picture yourself in that life. And then it helps you with the motivation as well. So I'm just going to close on a couple thoughts that, uh, really hit home for me. And I think they will for some of you too. Um, for those of you who are feeling stuck or depleted, giving everything that's going on, going on and what's going on right now. Um, please remember that you can't change your feelings and emotion by just thinking about it. You have to take some action, even the little step to move forward. And if you're super stuck, I really encourage you to go ahead and do something for somebody else. Serve someone. It doesn't have to be huge. 
but help somebody out. It kind of takes you <laughs> out of the equation for a little bit. And you're not thinking about your brain so much in your own world so much and you're helping the other person and it's taking action. Plus you will see, you know, the results of that action, which I think is important as well. So keep that in mind. Um, doesn't have to be huge, but it's, it's a big help. Um, last but not least, and this just goes basically with everything. Just remember that all the choices you make in your life are either getting you closer to your goal or further away from it. I mean, duh, right? But even the simple act of, like I said earlier, with just being a lump on the couch, what was that getting for me? Yeah, maybe I was getting some chill time and some rest, but I could have done that in other ways. And it was affecting so many other areas of my life that I knew that wasn't a good habit. So I had to change, you know, to a good habit. It was a bad habit. I had to switch it to a good habit. It's not always easy. And sometimes you need an encourager along the way. So if any of this resonated with you, if you check out my blog post and you like that as well, and you want to talk more, please do not hesitate to reach out to me because each month, I open up some time on my calendar for strategy call. It's completely complimentary and it's just a great way to take a closer look at your dreams and goals and how to get you there. And if it turns out we're not a match and we don't align, that's cool. I'll get you where you need to go. But I would love to chat more with you uh, if you need it, if you want to take that deeper dive and do the work, right? Got to make the choice to do the work. All right, so I hope that was helpful helpful uh, to you. Uh, my goal is, just so you know, <laughs> is to do these weekly on Wednesdays at 1. So far, that seems to be working with my family's schedule, this new schedule that we've created for ourselves. So I'm going to give that a shot. So each week, I'm just going to cover, um, you know, a different... Uh, kind of area in, in everyone's life, whether it be the personal, which I talked a little bit about today, um, even financial and career and those kinds of things. So I hope uh, you join me again next week. And if you're catching the replay, please let me know, you know, drop it in the comments. I would love to know that you stopped by. And thanks again and have an awesome day. See ya.